Hyatt Hall of Fame, no doubt. I'm very excited. Let me straighten my hat. I mean, normally, today I wish I was on the other side watching Asafa Powell on screen with his beautiful wife, Alicia. But here we are. We promised you, and it's a surprise, even though we promised, yes, it is a surprise. He's here. The legend, Asafa Powell, has joined us. Let me, let me cut it, because we want to hear from him and his wife. You're very welcome. Akwaba. Kedase. Yes, <laughs> Asafa, thanks for joining us. Your shadow is so tight, yes. but we're very grateful through the GOC, the president's Benunu Mensa, that you've made yes. it. Um, yes. Where do we even begin? There's, you, you have such a fantastic profile. But first of all, welcome to Ghana. And how long have you been planning this? You know, uh, well, you know, my wife, you know, I, um, she has she been bugging me to come here for a while now. You know, and um, we... We decided to come a few years ago, but um, the pandemic, you know, um, it and um, we we didn't get to come at that time. We were supposed to come in December, but because of the World Cup, we had to change again. So, you know, we've been planning this for a while, you know, and I've been I've been excited to come for a very long time to see her culture and you know where she's from, where she grew up, yeah, and um, she's she has been excited to show me as well. We're very excited. The president of the Ghana Olympic Committee, Benunu Mensa, mm -hmm. was saying, I'm going to bring Asafa Powell. He's going to come. We believe him, but we didn't hear anything. <laughs> and then he says, oh, by the way, he's coming in a couple of weeks. And yeah. here you are. There's a lot to do. I've seen your itinerary in Accra, mm -hmm. schools, Cape Coast. Let's talk about the arrival at the airport. When you, when you landed, you know, on the homeland with your wife next to you, what, what was the buzz like? Oh, man. Um, you know, when, when I was on my way, you know... Um, my wife told me that, you know, there's going to be a welcome, welcoming party, you know, at the airport, you know, but I did not ex expect, you know, it to be such a huge, you know, welcome. You know, I was overwhelmed, you know, I was happy, you know, the music was playing and the excitement, you know, it was, it was very, very, um, you know, heartwarming. Jamaica, Ghana, there's a lot of comparisons. We keep saying that, Alicia, I'll come to you in a bit. What have you seen so far that, ah, this is, this is just like back home? <laughs> Um, I mean, pretty much almost everything, you know, um, the only difference is just the, 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 the language, you know, the accent and the language, but everything looks the same to me. I, I feel like I'm in Jamaica. Which is yeah. faster? A silly question to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Which is faster, Ghana or Jamaica in terms uh, of... I, I would say the same. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Alicia, it's great to have you in. Um, we kept hearing as, as of our powers married to a Ghanaian and we're yeah. excited, you know, our brother-in-law is coming, you're here. Uh, tell us a little bit about your roots and being back home in Ghana as well with your husband. So I'm born and raised here. I lived here until I was 10 and I was born in Adafo. My mom is Fanti Oyafantini and she's from Cape Coast, Ember Mai and Sikuma. So I was also raised in Accra. I went to Seven Great Princess Academy. Seven and Great Princess? Yes, shout yes. out to them. Yes, shout out to them. Wow, wow. <laughs> yes, and having him here is really a dream come true for me. Yes. I'm sure the food is not a problem. We eat the same thing, don't yes, we? Yes, it's very similar. Like, yeah. my mom's up in Kingston with us. Mm -hmm. She's been up there with us for three years now, and she's like, it's literally like I'm back home in Ghana, you know? So it's very similar. I mean, what is it like being married to the legend Asafa Powell? I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. That's all. That's literally, it's legendary, but he's also such a humble soul that sometimes mm -hmm. it's so easy to forget who he is, so... Yeah, you see some of these great moments in history yeah. where you watch even <laughs> how many times you get goosebumps and <sighs> London 2012, Beijing in the stadium watching. And then finally the, the, the guy comes, feely feely. We say feely feely means that real life. Yes. Um, it is humbling, but you do notice that Asafa is a calm, relaxed guy. He gets on the track and he explodes. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, your background, tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, well. um, you know, I grew up in a Christian home, you know, in the country. My, both my parents are pastors. You know, um, you know, went through the schooling system, you know, um, my brother, you know, was uh, an athlete, you know, always wanted to be like him, you know, um, you know, and then from there, you know, I just decided to jump in the track and field. Football wasn't... Um... Definitely, definitely. I was actually playing football in high school. Right. And uh, my, 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 the, the, the physical education um, teacher at the time look at me and say, why don't you try track and field like your, like your brother? You know, and um, I've been always running, but never took track and field, you know, seriously at the time. So you just had that natural talent? Yes, yes, it was always there. You know, I always knew I was the fastest, 
you know, in first school, in school. From primary yeah, right up? Yeah, I always knew, but... You were just fast. Is yes, it, yes. No training before you actually got to train. Yeah. What, what is it about? Is it a family? Is it genetic? Yeah, I, I think it's, 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 it's family genetics as well. But we all, I think we all have that genetics. You know, we as black people, we have it. You know, we're always be the best at everything we do. So, you know, um, I think it's, it's, it's our, our upbringing. You know, we... We, we are groomed from a very young age, you know, to, you know, to run, you know. <laughs> to I, run I'm watching that clip, you know, Tyson Gay there and then, you know, younger days. The oh, sacrifices, man. though, people don't talk about well, that. That was, only... that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the, the sacrifices, what yeah. you, your diets and being away from family and uh, your health, injuries and all the rest of it. People don't really talk about that, but it is part and parcel of, of your, your career. And look at the anxiety on people's yeah, faces, man, millions yeah, of people in Jamaica and yeah. around the world. What are the kind of sacrifices you've had yeah, to make to I get mean, to where you are? You know, we, we make a lot of sacrifices, you know, because um, we, a few years out of the month, you know, we have to be away from Jamaica, away from family. Even when we're in Jamaica, we don't really get to see our family as much because we're always training, you know, the, the stress that we put our bodies through. You know, it's, you know, it's just crazy to, to really sit down and think, you know, what we, us as, us, as, us as athletes, we look at each other and say, why did we choose this sport? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just like, like, like training for the army or worse than training for the army. You know, so it's, it's a lot of sacrifices and, you know, definitely have to really be up, uh, um, happy for, you know, going through, getting through which, it. Which year was this? I'm trying to look at this. This is 2006. Yeah, 2006. And you won that. So yes. before... You sprint. I, I equal the world record. Yeah, you, yeah. you equal and then you broke it. In fact, yeah. you are the only man in history to have run sub 10 more yeah. than any yeah. other yeah. person. And I'm reading more than 90 times. Yes, yes. That's, that's not correct. Yeah, that's that, crazy. Yeah. That's, that's something, something that's in the history books and it's going to be there for a while. You know, 97 times, you know. That's, that's, that's absolutely incredible. So what, what were you thinking before this? You're, you're um, there? Well, honestly, this race, you know, before this race, you know, I, I, was, I was a bit upset, you know, because we, we traveled, you know, through Europe on a train. And when we got off the train, we had like only a few hours to get to the track because we left Jamaica. We missed the flight in um, London. And then we had to t take the train from London to Paris and then to, to um, Zurich, um, which that was. And um, to run the world record, like, we were amazed. I mean, Alicia, you see, this is the kind of thing, that's, it blows your mind. <laughs> you miss your flight, you have to take the train yeah. to Europe, you yes. get there and you have to run in it. Yeah. So you were upset. Yes. So you just said, yeah, man. you I, took I your was, anger Yeah, I took my track. anger out on the track. <laughs> what, what, what are the, uh, apart from the challenges, the rewards, you know, mm. um, apart from the stardom, I know you're mm. a very humble guy, but everywhere you go, you recognize I'm, the love. I mean, yeah, you, 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 you get to reap the benefits, you know. Um, before track and field, I didn't know that you could make a living, you know. This could, I didn't know this could be a job. You know, I thought you just go to the Olympic Games, you run, you go home. You know, I didn't know that this, this was an actual job, you know. So, you know, I, I benefited where, you know, I could take my family out of a certain situation and, you know, make them better. You know, I could help myself, I could help people. You know, I, can, I could start my foundation to help, you know, kids, you know, that are not doing so. So, so well, you know, at home, you know, and I could put food on their table, you know, so I can travel around the world, you know, I can now come to Ghana, inspire people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it has, it has put me in places and, has, and I've benefited a, a lot from it. Reggae music, beautiful country, you know, tourism, the destination and the sprinters. You say Boats is a good friend of yours. Mm -hmm. What is it that you guys, apart from training, yes, we know you train a lot. <laughs> what is it that you guys eat? I mean, well, because I'm sure you hear this all the time, but there must be something like I mean, the Mexican boxers, like the Bukum boxers. <laughs> what is the secret? Alicia, you tell us because. I mean, you know, I would, I would, you know, I always love to say the food, you know, because, you know, I want to, you know, people to come to Jamaica and eat the food. Yeah. But, you know, like I say, it, it's just the, tr we, we, are, we, are, we are trained from a very young age, man, to, to really um, do sports, you know, um, do track and field. You know, we have a system and the system works and it has been going on for years and I don't think it's going to change. And, and mentally, you've got to be very tough in a yeah. stadium, 50,000, yeah. 40,000, 30,000, shut everything out. You've got some of the other fastest guys in the mm -hmm. world around mm -hmm. you, 
how do you yeah man mentally you have to be tough even just to get through the trainings the training sessions you know because you know the trainings are are tough and if you're not if, if you are not tough as a person you will give up you know so once you get through that training i think you know being out on the track it makes being out on the track a bit more easier you know and um to to be in front of so many people uh, it, it's kind of you know, it makes the adrenaline you know, pump a bit more. And when you when you hear the announcer mention your name and everyone goes, ah. A lot of discipline. You know? This is yeah. Luzan, yeah. but I'm not too sure the year, but it's in Luzan. Since 2008. 2008, okay. So, yeah. um, what, so okay, tell us what's going through your mind now. These these guys here are the fastest yeah, human yeah. beings the, in this, the world. This, this only, you're saying was the only person missing from this race, from the Olympic finals. So. And what was running through your mind here? The, uh, to redeem myself, you know, because I, I didn't run so well at the Olympic Games, so I wanted to come and show the world that, hey, I'm still a Sapa Powell, you know. Um, you know, I had an unfortunate, you know, situation at the Olympic Games, but I'm still here. And um, I remember before this race, you saying, um, said to me, don't break my world record, <laughs> you know, because he knows that, you, you know. You can't I, do that. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> no, that's that's beautiful. And then I, I also say that your era, you guys had some of the fastest guys mm -hmm, around. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. race after race. Now yeah. we're not, it, there's a bit of a gap. Mm -hmm. And you retired, Hussein Bolt has retired. Mm -hmm. Who's next? What's coming up? Consistency. I mean, you were we, there for so many years at the we top. Have, we, have guys, we have guys coming up. Like you said, you know, we, we've been there for a while, uh, over over 10 years. You know, you, you have myself, Hussein, Michael Freiter, um, Nesta Carter, and then you and Blake came and joined us um, towards the end, you know. But now, you know, we we have retired, and I think you know we have we have good guys that are coming up. Um, they they did not come up in the era that we when we were in the sports. So I think you know it's a, it's a bit harder for for them now. But definitely, we have some guys coming up, and you will see them in the near future. Okay, our well, time obviously is going. I mean, we're so happy to have you here. But in terms of uh, the, the setbacks as well, the injuries and all the rest of it, being away from family, as mm -hmm. you said, the sacrifices, you, you must miss a lot of things, but is it all worth it? I mean, yeah, definitely, um, it's all worth it. Um, you know, I have my beautiful wife, you know, I have my kids, you know, and, um, you know, we, I always said to myself that I'll never be ungrateful you know, for what I've accomplished. You know, We're seeing you know. scenes of you arriving here. Um, <laughs> in case you didn't know, yeah. I mean, you're, you're all over the place. I mean, yeah, the man, yeah, President man. Ben Nunez says keeping it, you know, low yeah, key. Like, I'm, I'm very grateful for the reception and, you know, the love, the love that you guys are giving to me here in, um, in Ghana. Awesome. Yeah, so this is, guys, this is where the, um, Asafa came through uh, earlier with Alicia. And that's Cora. Remember him? Uh, another yeah. Ghanaian legend, and our, our boy is taking him round to see um, the various offices and departments here at uh, IMAX, uh, Max TV, Max FM. And don't forget, later we have the Ghana Premier League match coming up, Kotoko versus Bichem. We have uh, this evening Liverpool versus Wolves, that's later in the evening. Hartsburg versus um, a, a crowd great Olympics on Star Times. So let's focus on Asafa before he leaves. Your, um, let's talk about some of the things that you're here to do already with uh, Alicia. You've been in Cape Coast for Independence, mm -hmm. yeah. you've been in some schools, a lot of charitable mm -hmm. work, inspiring the youth. Tell us a bit more about uh, the other things that you'll be doing whilst you're here in Ghana. Well, you know, the, the, main, the main thing um, I'm here to do is to inspire um, the younger kids, you know, that are, you know, that are less fortunate, you know, because I was in that same you know, position, you know, where, you know, I wasn't, you know, f as fortunate as everyone else. And I still managed to, to make it through. So I'm just here to inspire um, the, young, the younger ones and um, just to help inspire the country itself as well to really, you know, give a, a helping hand and support to the, to the younger ones. Finally, last word to you, Alicia, before we move, because um, here you're going to sign the book of condolence mm -hmm. for Christian Achu. Yes. I'm sure you were monitoring that sad yes, situation in Jamaica as well. Yeah, what are your final words? I'm very happy that he's back home and the impact that he's making for a better future for the younger generation and sport. And hopefully you're going to bring him back. Asafa, you know, we, we want you to bring him, say you're a good is, buddy. This is, this is definitely my second home. Yeah. And, Fantastic. You know, we, we will be back and I'll try my best to bring who I can, you know, um, and when I can. You know. Awesome.
Well, it's been an exclusive. Uh, short as it was, you know, he's got a very tight timetable, so we need to cut it for now. But definitely, as um, any time we get Asafa Power, we will not spare him. We'll bring him <laughs> from location. They'll be going to Cape Coast as well for the independent celebration. Mr. and Mrs. Powell, it's been lovely having you. Uh, it's been the, the shortest, you know, 10 minutes or 15 <laughs> minutes exclusive. We'll definitely have them back as well. And a big thanks to the president mm. of the Ghana Olympic Committee, Mr. Ben Nunu Mensah. He's been terrific. I mean, from before they arrived right through, there's a lot that we'll show you. And a big thanks to the production team as well. Nanaya and Olenge and the staff and management. You've been fantastic. And once again, thank you. And yeah, hopefully we'll see, you, yeah, we'll see you very, very soon again. Yeah, for sure. Thank you thank very you. much. Okay. <laughs>